Hey, welcome back to another edition of Dale Does Service Now. I'm your host, Dale. In my last video about App Repo, I had a great question in the comments about what do you do when it's the end of the sprint and you're not ready to deploy. And one way to handle that is through stashing, how to save your work for later. So again, the scenario is, let's say it's the end of a sprint, you've worked a few stories, but one of them's not quite done. So now in your dev instance, you've got some code that's done and some code that is half done. How do you move that half done code to the next sprint and only deploy the stuff that's ready to the app repo? What do I do? You stash it. So to talk about stashing, there's a few steps involved. So for step one, linking to source control, we're gonna do that for Sydney to save time in the video. But first to stash something, she actually has to create something. So for that, she's gonna do what we're gonna call work the story. So let's say she had two stories to create uh, business rules. And so we're gonna name one of those business rules ready to deploy kind of a funny name for a business rule, but for this demo, we wanna make sure we differentiate that business rule from our other business rule that we're gonna name not ready yet. But let's say it's the end of the sprint. Oh my goodness, Sydney and her team have been working on changes for this app, but she's not ready to publish that business rule to the app repo yet. What does she do? Well, she's actually going to think about committing the changes. And what she does, it will show her every update set that's open. Right now, it's just her. It'll show her all the updates in those update sets. So she can select all of them. Or maybe she'll unselect not ready yet, but she will go ahead and commit the ready to deploy business rule to source control. Um, we'll put um, created ready to deploy BR for our commit message. It's always good to make nice clean commit messages for your Git administrator. We will close that out. And now we've committed that to source control, but we have not yet published to the app repo. So we committed our ready code to source control, but now we need to stash that not ready code. So this not ready yet business rule, let's uh, stash local changes. Well, wouldn't you know, only things that we didn't commit are in here. We're gonna call this the not ready yet BR. And we will stash local changes. Now what it's actually doing is reinstalling the app from source control. When it does that, it's not gonna drop any tables, you're not gonna lose any data, but it will say, oh, okay, it reapplies it, and now you see, oh, where did our stash go? It's not applied. So we're not gonna apply it yet. Our changes that we're not ready to deploy are in the stash, but are ready to deploy business rule is right there. So we can go ahead and publish it and we'll say created new BR ready to deploy because we like, uh, we like nice messages there for our admins. Oh, one little change there. You do need to increment your version number. Thanks for warning me service now. And over in source control, it will create a tag with that version number. So source control administration is a little outside of this video. I can do another one if, uh, if there's a need for it. But Sydney has now uh, published this app, my first app, 1.0.1, with the new business rule to the app repo. So now she could go install that in the test environment if she wanted, but what does she do with that code? So it's the next sprint, she's published that version. And how does she get the stash back? That is a great question. She just reapplies it. So she goes in here to source control. She says, oh, I'm gonna manage my stashes. She hits apply and that will actually run. It's actually an update set in the background that has that one BR in it. It's gonna do a quick little preview. We're not gonna have any errors because this is a simple demo and we will commit the stash to the instance. So now it's the beginning of sprint two and Sydney can pick back up where she was with the not ready yet business rule. 
She may get some messages about update sets, read them carefully. But in this case, she'll say she'll just continue in the current update set, which is named after herself and not the from stash update set. And she'll say, now this is ready, does whatever she needs for the app, hits update. And now she can publish that 1.0.2 to app repo. And along the way, it will go ahead and recommit it to source control, created a new BR. Now this is ready like that. So if we went to source control, we would see the tags for the two different versions. You see it kind of flashing on the screen there. It publishes the app repo and that is about it. And that's how you handle uh, stashing and changes that you're not ready to deploy to app repo yet. If you like my video, please like and subscribe. It'd be super cool. Thanks and have a good day.